No sweat if you don't have anything too sophisticated. I just use a folded up blanket or a little cushion, but it's nice to elevate your hips. We'll start by just taking a moment, sit well. If it's comfortable for you to cross your legs, find that posture. And if you always put, for example, your right shin in front, switch it up today. Put your other foot in front. Oh, that feels weird. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? Even with something new, you can get established in a pattern, right? All right, close your eyes. Rest your hands on your knees. Shrug your shoulders up towards your ears. Take a breath in through your nose. And then open your mouth, exhale, draw your shoulders down towards the center of your back. Do that a couple times, just finding a little bit of grounding. Inhale, bring your shoulders up towards your ears. Let your eyes be closed, don't make a big deal about it. Exhale, draw your shoulders down towards the center of your back. Sometimes I like an open mouth sigh at the beginning of practice because it really helps me to just kind of set everything else uh, physically, emotionally to the side, just breathe it out so that you're a little bit more ready, a little bit more empty to fill yourself up with positive energy and breath here on your mat. Now your shoulders are far away from your ears, draw the back of your neck long, lifting through the crown of your head. And really feel your sitting bones, those two bones in the back of your pelvis that are sitting on the ground, maybe on your cushion. Energetically push those sitting bones down while you lift your crown of your head up. A little bit like you were stretching in two opposite directions and getting longer. Notice if that allows you to then engage through the muscles of your abdomen and it's easier for you to draw your shoulders down and back. We're not being aggressive about it. You're not forcing anything. You're just lengthening. This is your, I'm sitting well, I'm ready for Thursday pose. Let your eyes be closed. Soften your jaw. We'll take a few breaths with me. Keep your mouth closed. Let your tongue rest lightly on the roof of your mouth. And we'll draw breath in through your nose and then exhale through your nose, listening for the sound of your inhale and exhale. With me, inhale. Pause here. Out the nose, gentle exhale. Good. Drop everything else except the sound of your breath. Inhale. Don't force it. Let it just flow from deep in the pit of your belly. Pause here at the top of the breath and then like you were going to coast down a hill. Exhale. Through the nose, nice and even. Good. Add a little vigor to the inhale. Just stepping in as much breath as you can. Sip it in, sip it in. Pause here a little bit longer at the top of that breath. Keep the vigor, but pace it. Exhale through the nose. Maybe you can hear your breath in your ears in the back of your throat like you're opening your throat. Inhale. Keep that vigor, building heat, strong, powerful breath. Look at how you're steady. Exhale. Good, slowing down, but keep the vigor. Inhale. So this is an energetic breath, awakening, but steady. Pause here at the top of the breath, ride it down, exhale. Two more, inhale, draw it out. Hold here, control the exhale. Last one, inhale.
Keep your shoulders down, body relaxed, exhale. Very good, keep your eyes closed. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, let it go. Let your eyes stay closed and soft. Bring your hands together at heart center. I invite you to begin our practice with gratitude. Take a moment. What do you have to be thankful for today? And if the first thing that comes to mind is something that is rather intangible, I appreciate that. Acknowledge that. But I invite you to also think of something very tangible that you have right here within your surroundings that you are thankful for right now that you can recognize. Maybe it's a person, maybe it's a purpose, maybe it's a comfort, maybe it's yourself, this body, your health, your freedom to be able to take this time to show up on your mat. Fill yourself with gratitude. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Good, open your eyes. Inhale, reach your arms up towards the sky. Interlace your fingers, press your palms up towards the ceiling. Take a big stretch here. If it feels good to shift at the ribs a little bit side to side. <clears throat> kind of depends on what else has been going on, right? <sighs> Likewise, take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, press the heels of your hands together. Straighten out your elbows to the degree that you can, but most importantly, draw those shoulders back and down like you were trying to squeeze a pencil between your shoulder blades. Let your chin relax. Notice if you're not breathing and take a couple breaths here. All right, good work, guys. Let's open up our hips before we get into our standing and balance poses. So come off of your uh, blanket or your cushion, but I'm gonna have you use it later, so keep that nearby. And let's start in the child's pose. Take yourself so that I have my chair at the top of the mat, because when we um, reach for it, we'll be reaching like to anchor onto that chair. But put yourself back away far enough that you're not gonna be like competing with your head and the chair, so you, we don't want you to bunk your forehead on the way down. Take your toes to touch, knees out wide, start walking your fingers forward and find your child's pose. You can relax your, fore, your forearms to the mat, elbows to the mat, forehead to the mat. If it feels like this is really uncomfortable or your hips are coming way up high in the air, try dropping your hips back towards your heels and if that still is not good for you, you can grab that support and just put it underneath your forehead or your chest. The whole purpose of the prop, like this blanket or a cushion or the chair is to help you to really find comfort and depth in your pose or to bring the floor closer to you, make our arms longer, et cetera. So we're in child's pose. Take your knees out a little bit wider if you can so you have a lot of opening through the inner thighs. And take a couple breaths here, in and out through the nose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now, if you're in absolute agony with your knees out wide like this, then you can bring them a little bit closer together. But otherwise, your intention is to drop the belly towards the floor, drop the chest towards the floor with keeping grounding through your head. We're going to walk your hands over to the right. So start walking your hands over off the right edge of your mat. Maybe you lift your head as you get there, and then your right elbow grounds to the mat or the floor. Left elbow might lift as you reach really long through the left side body and putting your forehead on the mat. So our order is always to find the physical pose, kind of get there, arrive, Set your gaze, even if that means with your eyes closed, it's kind of like you lock into place, if you will, and then you breathe. So breathe. Take a deep breath in. Travel on your exhale. Walk your hands back through the middle and go over to the left. 
drop your left arm towards the floor, maybe your right elbow lifts as you reach really long with your right hand. Notice if your right hip is coming really high up off the mat and maybe back out a little bit. We just want to find length from the right wrist all the way to the right hip. For me, I notice when I walk my hands over to the side that it um, gets a little deeper through the inner thighs with that stretch, which is what we're kind of going for. If we're going to find some balancing and stand on one leg, we want our legs to know we mean business. Right. Wake up, legs. We need you today. Come back up to center. Good work. Come back up to your tabletop. Hands and knees, just relax your belly towards the floor, lift your chin, inhale, exhale slowly, round your back, push all 10 fingers, spread out into the mat, drop your chin towards your chest, arch your back, making the space between your belly button and the bottom of your rib cage as short as you can. Do that again with breath, inhale, drop your belly, look up, exhale, round. This is a different degree of motion for everybody. So you want to feel like you are moving. Some of us are more tight in the spine or have low back injuries to protect. Just keep moving here gently. See if you can connect with the breath. It's an inhale when you look up. Exhale when you round. So the degree of motion, the range of motion you have with your back is really individualized, but I will tell you that the key is to really always push through your wrists into your shoulders. So we have a stack of shoulder, elbow, wrist, bearing weight, even in the pads, the tippy tippy tips of your fingers, creating that integrity through the shoulders, puffing up through the rib cage as you push away. Good work, guys. One more big breath in. Take a deep breath in. Again, be mindful if you've got that chair in front of you. We're not going to like hit, hit ourselves with the chair. Take your right leg back. Lift your left arm. Lift your right leg. All right. So here's our, this is bird dog. If this is too much for you, then you can just take a little balance with that right foot and use a little cue here. Be mindful that you don't collapse one way or the other. So when you lift, really lift and lengthen. It helps if you set your gaze forward, flex your right toes down, drive through your right heel, reach through your left hand. Where's your left shoulder? Is it all up in your earlobe? Draw your left shoulder down, breathe. Good work. Put your left hand down, swing your leg over to the right edge of the mat. Walk yourself all the way up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, drop your right hand to your right knee and reach your left arm over. Good, Susan. Look it up at your top hand. Maybe your fingers walk a little bit towards your ankle as you just find length through the left side of your body here. Breathe. Use your exhale to travel. So inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come back up to center. And put both hands on the mat. Swing your right knee back. Take your left leg back. Lift your left heel. Take your right arm out in front of you. Lift. Sometimes this is one of those poses that like, if you see a picture of somebody doing it, you're like, oh, I could do that all day. And then when you do it, you're like, oh, that's actually harder than it looks, huh? So take your right hand, really reach long, spark your fingers, lift through your left heel, big integration through their left knee and left quad. So squeezing the left glute, lift, push with your left hand into the mat, reach with your right hand, breathe, set your gaze forward, belly in tight, take that right shoulder away from your ear. One more breath here. Good, put your right hand down, take your left foot out, perpendicular to the edge of your mat. Walk yourself, inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, drop your left hand towards your left knee. You might have a bend in your waist or you might just be reaching up and then gently over. Go to the place where you're not lounging on the couch, but you're not like in the red zone all your nerve fibers going, don't do that to me. Just kind of go 
where you uh, have sensation, maybe a little bit uncomfortable, maybe a little bit deep, but you're not in like the, we have to stop place. Come back up to center. Good, put both hands on the mat. Swivel your left foot around behind you so that now you're long ways and I have, you can make a stack of your wrist from your left wrist up to your right hand. So here's what I did. I was on my hands and knees and then I just pivoted that left leg, left foot back so that I could take my right foot out, right arm up. Everybody good? Okay. So this is step one, you stay here. Step two, lift this right leg, hold. Step three, if you're really fired up today, take this right hand behind your head. Give me five crunches, knee to elbow. One, two, three, four. Look at you guys fired up. Five, good job. Hold it here. Don't just collapse, set it down. Hold, lift through your right hand, look up, flex your toes, lift through your outer right shin, breathe. Gracefully put your right hand down, come all the way back around. Good job. Alana and Tommy, how did that go? No bad. <laughs> Not bad. All right. We're going to go the other way. So here we go. Swing your right foot back. Bear weight on your right wrist. Extend your left leg. Peel your left arm up towards the sky. Before you move any further, you're going to be the most successful anytime you're bearing weight on your hands. If you have a straight line... All right, same with the knee underneath the hip, straight line. When you're ready, you can stay here or you can lift your left leg, flex your toes, lift your outer left shin. Try to let your right leg do some work, grounding here. Squeeze your glutes and pull your pelvis under. Reach this, right, this left arm really up, push with all five fingers on your right hand into the mat. You can stay here or give me five knee to elbows. Here we go, one, two, you're breathing, three, four, and five. Don't collapse, stay here. Lift, flex, reach, breathe. Good, let it go. Nicely done, guys. Take your toes to touch. Take your knees out wide. Drop your hips back. Relax into your child's pose. Drop your forehead to the mat or to your cushion. Settle here in your child's pose. Again, like if you have some back issues, Chris, I'm thinking about you with your back, then maybe it'd be nice today to use that pillow and support your chest so you don't go down quite as far. I'm being careful. Good, that's what I was, was hoping for. All right guys, from your child's pose, come back to your hands and knees. Tuck your toes, lift your knees, come up to your downward facing dog. Press your heels towards the mat. We're not hyperextending the knees. So soften your knees. Really think of the push coming through the arms. So elbows are straight, chest pulling towards your thighs. Head is nice and relaxed, so not flexing your neck at all. But there can be softness in your knees. And then you can see how that feels to press your heels down towards the mat. I would prefer you focus more on having this flat back rather than straight legs and an arch in the back. Think of really dropping your chest toward your knees and you have a flat back. That's what's opening that SI joint. That's what's opening through your back. That's what's building strength in your shoulders. Breathe. Go back to your gratitude. What do you have to be thankful for today? Like we get so caught up in the news. I know like I, every single day my husband wakes up, he's like on his phone and he's like, you know, his whole demeanor changes in about five minutes. Like open your eyes, look around, look at the people around you, look at the space around you. What do you have to be thankful for today? Take one more deep breath in. Exhale. Look forward. Take a walk towards your hands. Meet me in a forward fold at the top of your mat. Again, soft knees, bringing chest to thighs. 
If your hands reach towards the floor, you can find some grounding through your fingers. If not, find a place for your hands, like grabbing your opposite elbows, letting your head hang, maybe swaying a little bit side to side. Soft knees, breathe. Good, release your hands, ground through your feet. Inhale, reach all the way up. Take your arms up, gaze up gently. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Stack your pelvis right underneath your waist. So you tuck that pelvis under. Think of hips, knees, ankles being in a straight line. Squeeze your glutes. Good work, guys. Breathe in. All right, ready to do some um, standing on one leg? Such enthusiasm. Okay. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you had a chair, you knew it was coming. All right, here we go. Standing on one leg. Take, we're going to start with tree. You don't need the chair. I believe in you. You do not need the chair. The work that's going to happen is you have to put your foot down. And then we're going to transition to uh, supported warrior three with the chair. So let's begin first just by warming up your back. Take your feet out wide. Put your hands on that chair. Walk your feet back till you can get like a good stretch here of the back and the back of your legs. Anchor your hands on the edges of your chair. Stick your butt back. Let your chest drop. Let your head hang. Breathe here. I love balance poses because they're challenging and they require concentration. With so many distractions, I mean, I'm like, for years when I started doing yoga, it was so hard for me to not be like taking my phone into practice, checking my email, feeling like I was needed everywhere else except right here. So use this balance sequence as an opportunity to get really integrated into all that focus being in the standing leg. Come back all the way up. All right, guys, we're gonna stand on your left leg. Bring your right foot either to your ankle uh, right below the knee, or use your hand, give you a little boost. Press the sole of your foot into your left inner thigh. We're setting ourselves up for tree. You will be most successful if you squeeze your lower abs in, squeeze your glutes, ground through your left foot. If you're good here, take your arms up. If you're a weeble wobble, you will find more balance if you take your hands to heart center. Where's your gaze? If you look all over the place, you'll go all over the place. Set your focus. Right? Isn't that why we need an intention? Every week, just set one intention. Because if you're looking all over the place, your energy is all over the place. So set your gaze. Hold your intention there with that gaze. Breathe steady like we practiced at the beginning. Reach through your fingers. Straighten your elbows if your arms are lifted. Breathe. Good, now listen to the transition. Bring your hands together at heart center. We're gonna pick up your right knee. Your hands find the chair, extend your right leg back. When you get there, square your hips, straighten both legs. Now you are pushing through both legs, so you don't need softness in both knees. I'd actually want you to push off with both legs. Straight knees really activate the quads and hamstrings. This chair is here as an anchor, not a death grip. Okay, so if your knuckles are white, back off. It's just an anchor. Set your gaze a little bit forward, not straight down or back. If you are good here and you wanna play with the challenge, you can take your hands to heart center. Stay here, gaze steady, breathe. Three, two, one, listen, step your right toes back, drop your heel on your right foot, take your arms up, warrior one. So right foot is back, left knee is bent. You got it, and then open up warrior two. You were going the right way, Alana, you were like, <laughs> where am I, huh? <laughs> Happens to all of us, we're like, 
Where am I, huh? All right, so this, wherever you were before, let's all get to the same place together. There we go. Left foot is forward, right leg is straight, hold back foot on the mat, warrior two. Good, breathe. Look down. You should be able to see your second and third toes on your left foot. So if your knee is tracking way out in front of your toes, you need to take your left foot forward so you have a stack of your left knee right over your left ankle. Should have worn my pink pants today so you could see me better, huh? Drop your shoulders, breathe in, belly tight. Reverse your warrior, let your right hand drop, lift your left arm up. Keep the lunge in that knee, breathe. Good work, guys. Come back to your warrior two. Straighten your left leg. Two choices. We're gonna go to triangle pose. You can take a triangle where your hand just goes to the chair and your right hand comes up. This doesn't put any pressure on your back at all, just provides lengthening. Or you can take it a little bit deeper. Your hand does not go to the chair. Your hand comes reaching towards your inner left shin. Right hand is up. But you wanna imagine yourself being wrist to wrist, one straight line, which means you can't have any collapsing happening through the right side body, you're lifting. So your hand on the chair is gonna allow you to have the length, but perhaps more safely. Otherwise, you can take it here. Good, breathe. Triangle is one of those where we get there and then we like hold our breath for 30 seconds. So we're not gonna do that, breathe. Notice if you're collapsing and if you can engage your obliques by drawing your belly in like you were gonna float, lift a little bit, breathe. Good work, guys. Use your core, come all the way back around. Standing here, turn your toes to the long edge of your mat, put your hands on your hips. Inhale, look up, exhale, fold. If your hands reach the floor, try walking your hands between your legs with your fingers pointing the opposite direction. So fingers pointing away from you, wrists pointing forward. You can find a deeper stretch here, or if that doesn't feel good and your hands don't reach the floor, find some place for your hands to anchor. So maybe on the backs of your calves or knees or even on the fronts of your thighs. Just so your chest and your chin can relax. Your toes are light, weights in the heels. Breathe. All right, belly in tight, lift all the way up. Good work. Breathe in, breathe out, turn back towards the front of your, um, turn the left toes forward. Bring your right toes up onto the mat. I'm gonna step forward from this lunge. So ready, inhale, step forward. All right, to stretch the leg, please don't fall down, okay? Um, we want you to have a safe rest of the day. We're gonna take our right foot, put it up on the chair. So a couple ways you can get there. It depends on the height of your chair. So if you don't have a super high chair, then it might be no problem just to pick your leg up put it up there. If you have a higher chair, then you can bend your knee, put your leg up here, and then just slide that foot forward so that you've got a better anchor. And then you can hang on to the edge of the chair. What we're looking for is we're finding a stretch with length through the back of your right leg with the support. All right, so everybody good? Yeah. Okay, so good. So Alana and Tommy, walk your chest down towards your leg a little bit more so that, uh huh, so that you're really imagining that you're going to kiss your toes. <laughs> just, imagine. just imagine it, huh? <laughs> there you go. That's a ghoul. <laughs> well, you know, if, if, I, if I was coaching you, I would tell you, Alana, it's probably not your priority. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun to do, huh? All right, we're stretching through the back of the leg here. Good work, guys. Breathe. Lift your chest back up. Gently bring that leg off the chair. Last thing, standing on your left leg. Stand on your left leg. Anchor your left hand on the chair and see if you can reach for the big toe side of your right foot. 
If you can re rest your left forearm on the chair, you'll have more balance. This is a modified dancer. If this does not work for you, then I want you to just practice using the chair as support and just trying to catch the foot. If you're real tight in the front of this leg, this may be as far as you go. So this is step one. If you're good, if you feel like you're steady here, we've opened up the legs a lot, then we're finding that leg reaching here. All right, looks good. Claudia looks good. Okay, let's try and see if you can balance. You're really strong on this left leg. Press your right hand into, press your right foot into your right hand. See if you can extend, like you're holding a tray, your left hand out. Come on, y'all, you just gotta play. Be willing to fall. That's a lesson, okay? That's part of like our job in yoga is to be willing to fall. Some of the stuff is real, <laughs> seems strange, be willing to fall, right? What's the worst that can happen? You fall, you get back, good. There you go, Claudia and Owen, give yourself a high five with each other, good job. <laughs> All right, there you go, good job guys, set it down. Shake it out, stand back up at the top of your mat. Take a deep breath in, exhale, hands to heart center. Close your eyes, reset here, breathe. All right, free pose standing on your right leg. Stand on your right leg. Draw your left knee up. Again, your tree can be a kickstand. It could be an anchor of the heel underneath the knee, or you can bring it all the way up. Everybody always needs a little help here, bringing their foot up into their inner thigh. When you get their belly in, shoulders down. I'll see. Squeeze your glutes. When you're ready, go. Raise your arms up. Be mindful of your shoulders, not coming up towards your ears. Shoulders down, there's space between the shoulders and the ears. Breathe. What's happening with your right toes? Spread those toes out. Put weight in all four corners of your right foot. Hug your right glute in and under. Hold your gaze steady. Soften your breath. Lengthen through your pinky fingers. Relax your jaw. Good, guys. Bring your hands together at heart center. Nicely done. Let's transition. Ready? Take your right, le left knee up. Stand on your right foot. Extend your left leg back. Find that anchor on the chair. You can anchor your forearms. You could just hang gently onto the edges, but we're not doing a death grip. And you're not collapsing your chest. So your goal here is to have your body be parallel to the mat. Right, so this is a precursor to a couple poses. The poses, if you wanna like just explore, if you take your arms off the chair, you can have a modified warrior three, hands at heart center. Airplane, hands are back. Warrior three, hands are forward. Any of those have the same legs, which is like an L shape with your legs. So use that chair as your anchor. The goal here is to get the legs right and get the legs strong. Lift your left heel, press through your right leg. Both knees are straight, breathe. Get into your zone of effort here. So now it's okay to be really trying. Really try. So if this is not enough for you, take your hands off the chair. Really try. Good work. Breathe. Nice, guys. Soften your right knee. Step your left foot back. Right foot is forward. Left foot back. Uh-oh. <laughs> Open up to warrior two. <laughs> All right. Toes are pointing forward on the right foot. Left leg is straight. Bend your right knee. Take your arms out. So whatever happened, happened, wherever, whatever was in the past was in the past. Be here right now. Set your gaze steady. Check in with your front knee. You should be able to see your toes. If not, scoot that right foot forward a little bit. Breathe in. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Take your right arm up, left arm down your leg. Reach here. 
this is an opportunity for you to notice if when you do that, you are start to straighten your right leg and stay deep in this lunge. Come back to arms at heart at uh, warrior two. Now straighten your right leg. We're doing triangle. So remember, you may want to get a little bit closer to your chair. A supported triangle means you lean towards your right waist. Left hand comes straight up. Right hand is reaching for that chair. It's really important in triangle, no matter what you're doing with your arms, that your butt is tucked under. So if you feel that, like tuck the pelvis under and then do the lean. All right, this gets your hips more square, gives you good solid alignment through your legs. Here's the modification hanging onto the chair, still getting lots of length through the left side of your body or take it into a deeper triangle, mindful not to collapse your left shoulder, taking your right hand inside of your right shin. Breathe here. Maybe you can turn your gaze up or just neutral straight ahead. If you feel this hurting in your left hip, back out a little bit or use that anchor in the chair and just work on drawing your left shoulder back. Good work, guys. Breathe. Use your core. Stand all the way up. Face your toes to the long edge of your mat. Deep breath in. Exhale. Forward fold. Drop your head. Soften your knees. Maybe you walk your hands a little bit side to side or just be there, letting gravity do the work here. If you wake up in the morning and you feel heavy, a lot of people have told me they feel like they're in this huge sense of inertia right now, meaning it's like so hard to know what to do next. Deep breaths, small steps, guys. Super tiny. Imagining that you're building your whole house, spectacular palace out of tiny little pebbles. You just got to start one little tiny corner at a time. Roll all the way back up. Shrug your shoulders a couple times here. Breathe. Step towards the front. Stand on your right foot. You can use your right hand as an um, anchor. Choice one, just work on catching your left foot. Get a good stretch through the front of your leg, front of your hip on the left. Or this is modified dancer. We're reaching for the inside. So you're taking your hand and grabbing the big toe side of your foot. That allows you to push with a little bit more resistance. And then you can use this chair as an anchor with your elbow for balance and focus on lifting that leg. Really pushing your foot into your hand. If you wanna play with the balance, your right leg has to be really solid, right glute squeezing, really working hard in this right leg, then you can take your right hand out, palm up. Hold something awesome. Give me a cocktail in your right hand. <laughs> Breathe. All right, let it go. Good job, guys. Thank you for the cocktails. Appreciate it. Much needed. <laughs> Come back to center. Let's reset the way we started. Step your feet back. Hang on to that chair. Soften your knees. Let your chest hang. Let your booties push back. <sighs> Close your eyes. Take some breaths here. Mm. Breathe in and breathe out. I'm really thankful for each of you helping to create an anchor by showing up for each other. You're the kind of person that recognizes that everybody has like, really everybody has a lot of shit going on that people don't know about. Yep. Show up, take this time for yourself. Listen to your breath, inhale, exhale. 
Let go of the chair, take your hands all the way down, soften your knees, come down to your hands and knees. Cross your ankles and sit back. All right, good job guys. Okay. Sounds like Chris. Uh, Hone, are you with us, Chris? I don't see him, but I sounds like him. Okay, guys, we're gonna do. A, okay, I um, we're gonna do a straddle stretch using the chair. So, uh, if your chair doesn't work for this, then I'll offer you some other ideas. But if it does, what we're doing here is we are. If you most chairs have four legs, right? So. Take your legs out wide and then use the chair as an anchor. You could hang on to those legs. My chair is a stool, so it doesn't have legs, so I'm going to hang on in the middle. And just use it as a way to pull your body forward. This side opening um, of the legs tends to be the hardest for most people. We just don't ever do this range of motion, especially for guys. Um, so that's where if you use the chair and you can rest, you could even rest your head here and just let your hands hold on to the back of the chair or take your head like underneath and pull yourself so that you're kind of just using that as an anchor. If because of your chair that makes no sense, that doesn't work at all, just take your legs out wide, walk your hands forward to the degree that you can, being mindful that no matter where you are, that you're not collapsing your big toes down, you're opening, taking the big toes out. We're going to stay here for about 20 seconds or so. Actually takes at least that long for your muscles to stop contracting. When we meet resistance, then our, uh, we're neurologically programmed to contract in order to protect your body. And that's uh, a chemical reaction and a... Um, autonomic reaction, but then if you stay there a little bit longer, then you can actually soften and relax. So if you stretch for five seconds and come out of it, you're not going to get past that point of resistance. Just stay here. And where's your mind? Go to your breath. If there are things on your mind, set them aside. The way you set a box outside your door, you'll deal with it in a little bit. Fill yourself up, deep breath in, deep breath out. See if you can listen to the sound of your exhale and pace your inhale and exhale so that they are equal. All right, release your Grip wherever it was, come all the way back up. Swing your legs around. Okay, here's where this is um, really nice since you have your chair. Grab your pillow or your blanket. All right, we're gonna um, elevate our legs and rest them on the chair. Okay, and then lift your hips. Put your pillow underneath your hips and let this just be a restorative posture. When you get your legs up, this is really good for women who have um, endometriosis or any kind of like menstrual pain issues. It's really good for people who have a tendency to collect fluid in their feet or poor circulation, so getting your legs up here. You can wiggle your toes, circle out your ankles. Everybody good? Everybody find a way to be comfy here? Because I know our chairs are different. Yep. Great, okay. This is also, if you didn't have a chair, guys, and you just needed like a reset, you can, um, Put your legs up the wall and support your hips like this. So imagine you had a wall and you could just put your legs up the wall. 
It's a really nice way to um, take a few minutes some point at the end of your day. Literally reverse direction. I was talking yesterday to um, a friend who owns a business who's trying to make everything go back basically to the way it was. And I was telling her, it's not the way that it was. Like, it's like there was a fork in the road and the other road got closed off. And we all are now on a different trajectory and there may be things that stay the same, but it will never be exactly the same. And so if we're still trying to you know, barrel our way through the path that's all full of rubble and impassable, then it's just, uh, it's struggle and it's futile. Whereas we have a new path, it's unclear what it looks like, but it is open. And that's the direction we all need to be going. We hang on to the things that we can, but we are open and able to embrace this new direction. All around the world, there's uncertainty, but it is not the same that it was. It will not go back to being the same exactly that it was. So this is your time to, to understand how you use your gifts in a way that illuminates that path ahead of you. Maybe only you can see what that looks like and others will follow. It takes a lot of courage to go into the place that we cannot see. Allow your shoulder blades to soften and melt into the mat. If your hands are clenched, open them up. Let your palms rest towards the ceiling. Let your fingers be soft. If you're holding any tension in your jaw, relax your jaw. If you're holding any tension in your belly, relax your breath, relax your belly. If you're holding any tension in the space between your eyes and your forehead, relax your eyes, relax your forehead. If you're holding tension deep inside and it makes you not as soft as you want to be, acknowledge that, forgive yourself. Take a deep breath, try again. Take a deep breath in. A slow breath out. One more like that, deep breath in. Slow breath out. Gently bring your feet off the chair, hug your knees into your chest. Maybe rock your hips a little bit side to side. And then roll all the way over onto your right side. Resting your head on your right arm, letting your feet rest on the floor, knees together. I invite you to go back to your gratitude. What do you have to be thankful for today? And are you looking around every moment of the day, looking to see what you have right in front of you to acknowledge and be grateful for? I 
When you're ready, push with your left hand and sit all the way up. Find yourself in a seat at the top of your mat with your hands together at heart center. Keep your eyes closed. Rest your hands. This is an excerpt of a poem by a Pakistani poet named Rumi. Do you know what you are? You are a manuscript of a divine letter. You are a mirror reflecting a noble face. This universe is not outside of you. Look inside yourself. Everything that you want, you are already that. The light in me honors the light in each of you. Namaste. Namaste. Yeah.